All right, but yeah, we're going into winter semis now, and this is CPU versus uh, Pulse. Oh, no, wait. CPU versus Caesar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh. We'll see how this goes. They're probably going to end up on Battlefield because everyone ends up on Battlefield. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. It's like the uh, Why even like Smash Roll Pokemon Stadium in this game. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh-uh. Yeah, and both these guys are, like, really good at their characters. <laughs> they are, like, really good at handling their combo game. Uh-uh. So I'm very excited to see how this goes. There's a lot of crazy reads going on just in this first couple yeah, seconds. Yeah, I was going to say. They, they, spent, they wasted no time going at each other. Yeah. <laughs> they're both being pretty aggressive, and along with that, they're just, like, reading each other's neutral options. It seems like they've played each other pretty often, and I don't really know their history. Yeah, I can't but, uh, say I know their history either, but they have definitely come here and fought quite a few times and tend to make it towards the end of bracket, so. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. All right, what was the Falco's name again? Uh, so Falco is CPU. All right, CPU and Caesar. Mm -mm. Or Caesar. <laughs> Whichever. Um, yeah, Falco opens it up pretty quick. 88% is like any percent for Falco, kill percent. Marth can convert off this. Oh, that's tricky. He's got his jump. Yeah. Falco's got his jump. He's usually got an option available to him. He's very rarely completely out of options. What was that? And he's getting him off stage. Wow, really oh, good yeah. down air. Oh, yeah. Alex has the build on our computer. That was pretty fantastic. That was a uh, really costly double jump from Marth. Yeah, it was pretty obvious he was going to go to the ledge there. It would have been really bold to go... Well, it looks like game one is going to Falco. <laughs> That's a little unfortunate. All right, I've got to hop off and play some matches. Yeah, go for it. Good luck. But, yeah, so we're going to be continuing here. Um, Caesar having a pretty rough game one. Quite a few SDs that have left him. Not SDs. Uh, quite a few lost stocks that have left him uh, quite behind. Mm-mm. Uh, but this is best of five, so he's got technically a couple. He could technically throw a match and still make it happen. Not as detrimental as a best of three. He's doing his best, though, with a really clean down air that uh, uh, brings it a bit closer. Still a stock down. And kind of getting pillared here. Mm -mm. Ooh, good stuff. Oh, that was almost perfect. That was almost enough to completely bring it back. He actually hasn't taken that much damage either. Like 62%, I would say, is like half a stock. So this is super doable still. Ooh. CPU tries to go on stage to kind of hit Caesar with his side B, but uh, Caesar manages right to get not hit by it and does a nice forward smash. Ooh, that up B. Oh, it was so good. Okay, technically even in stocks, but... Uh, it really can go either way in terms of who's going to take it. And it looks like uh, CPU cleans up game one. Mm -mm. Having quite a good first game. And we're going to be going on to uh, Final Destination. A very classic Marth Sage to be counterpicking to. Not too much of a surprise here. Uh uh. Um, the chain grabs from Marth can be pretty detrimental to your uh, either fast faller, Falco or Fox. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yo, what up? <laughs> can Yo. be joined by two jar to watch some uh, some some good old melee. CPU versus Caesar. Yep. Damn, this this is a good match right here. Yeah, dude, these two like know each other pretty well, like in terms of like having fought each other a lot. So like, it's really interesting to see each other. They, like they just adapt so quickly mm -hmm. to each other. They're both like very, I'd say, similar skill level. I think Caesar's taken a couple bigger names. Yeah. But CPU, as you can see, is, does work. <laughs> yeah, is definitely not afraid to like go in. And uh, against Marth on oh, it's winter semi. So is this best of five? Yeah. I, uh, no problem. But I was wondering why they were why we were allowed yeah. to go. Yeah, <laughs> allowed to go to. Yeah, no, he yeah, definitely picked his ultimate uh, counter pick right here. Hasn't actually gotten any uh, chain grabs yeah, yet. Yeah, CPU is not allowing him any sort of reach, mm -hmm. as in grabbing. So that's like gonna be the key for CPU to take this. Mm -mm. Good pressure, good safe pressure, locking him down. 
Oh, great tech. I think if CPU realized that he could have done a really fast wave dash, but that was that could have been very risky. And I know Falco's like the less risky you can be as Falco, the better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here goes the chain grabs. Oh yeah, this, this is, is what we brutal. came here for. Yeah. This is why we picked this stage. Oh, see good ya. DI. Oh. Getting out of there. That was great he was recovery. Such a good recovery. Oh my god, I thought he was that super That was pretty dead. insane. <laughs> Not only did he like DI completely out. Oh, nice. To get off the stage in the first place, but then also his recovery like angle. And Shorten were all just like pitch perfect. Mm -mm. All right. Oh, and there's the up throw. F and then fair F smash. Very creative way to kill him. Mm -mm. Catches that DIN. Yeah, these, both, these two are just going in so hard right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, let's take it. That was, oh, that was almost good. And he it like, does take it. Yeah, he swatted Falco away from the ledge, and he was like perfectly there mm -hmm. to like grab it, but was like a little too far away, and I don't think he realized it either. Uh -uh. So he rough. just fell to his death. <laughs> Didn't even up be. I know, Ooh. CPU in a commanding lead. Yeah, tries to go for that down air. Oh, here we go. Mm, mm. And there wow. goes game two. CPU taking it on Caesar's like, best counter pick. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure we're probably just going to go straight back. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't see him picking a different. Oh, wait, we're going to go into Fountain Dreams, I guess. Huh. Mm. All right, fair enough. Is this generally a good Marth stage? I I know, think it is. It has I good would say space. it's like just because like of the platforms, like you can kinda get cool disjoint stuff from mm -hmm. Marth. You can kinda catch people on those platforms if they're low enough. I think he's just seeing that CPU has like too tight of a game plan right now. Yeah. To try to go back to F D because yeah. he was just getting locked down too hard. Yeah, tons of momentum from that stage too. It's funny, this is like the stage I never want to take Falco to. Yeah, because <laughs> the platform layout, like, even though the platforms can kind of get janky for Falco, like, ultimately you're still at, like, the triple platy, like. Yeah, his down airs <laughs> are going to kill you. And unlike other stages, uh, Falco's short hop actually reaches the platforms at a lot of heights. Yeah. So you don't actually have, like, a safe platform to just retreat to. Good combo game oh. by, by Caesar. Doesn't finish it off, Caesar's though. been really on to like, top of the punish game, but has just not been on top of the, like, the actual finish. killing, yeah. Oh, there's the dare. Mm -mm. Doesn't reach, instead catches Caesar reaching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the there hard we go. That should take it. Yeah. Ain't no way the bird's flying back to the vet. <laughs> what up, Jose? Dude, how was B-Ball? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's true. <laughs> he had lockdown defense, smothered him. Uh -uh. Yeah. Do you want to commentate or are you just going to eat? I'll let you commentate for like okay, well, then I guess I'll, I'll, I'll talk with Jose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, my apologies. <laughs> Jose V on the mic. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing uh, Caesar versus CPU right now. CPU is our Falco, and he's uh, kind of tearing it up so far in this set. But Caesar is definitely trying to like bring it back. <laughs> oh, he's a chic player. No, nah, he's definitely Marth, <laughs> and he's definitely really good. <laughs> he's pretty good. No, I'm talking about Ooh. CPU. Oh, um, I don't think I've ever seen him. Oh. Like, yeah, he definitely goes Falco. At least late recently, within like the last couple months. Yeah. Mm -mm. This Marth needs to find an answer to like the pressure. Yeah, he like has this like long disjointed sword, but just has not been using it at the best times. He needs to get out from like with platforms and stuff like that, because he's kind of just in his face. Well, I mean, it's over now. <laughs> but for when he comes back and you know winners. Yeah, uh, when he losers. makes that sick losers run back. Yeah. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Bro, I am so hungry. <laughs> I was about to come here right away. I'm like, there's food right there, though. Mm. I wasn't. <laughs> I, well, I didn't want to. I was like, Brian's good food. He's like, no. <laughs> so how was the basketball? <laughs> Chill. I n I heard red one, but I don't I don't actually know who was on what team or anything. Literally towards the end, that's when it like picked up, really picked up for us. <laughs> I know Adrian was there filming it. Did so you cut your hair? I did actually. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -mm. That I did. But yeah, we're going to be seeing the other side of Winter Simis right now with Jago versus um, TDK. Yeah. Or Pulse, I mean. Duh. Mm -mm. So we have Pulse Wobble one. versus what? Wobbling versus. Hey, hey, hey. Jago does not wobble that much. That's true. He's actually really good at handoffs. Wobble, or no, Jago does like sick handoffs. And sometimes, like. You're like, why didn't you just wobble, though? They mm -hmm. like, put that sick button. Don't <laughs> get me wrong. That stuff is pretty.